Longtime viewers of Telil 24-7 might recall that on our very first episode back in February, we had a feature interview with Taylor Linloff. She was talking about her experiences on the autism spectrum and as an autism activist here in the Strait area. Well, that turned out to be one of our most popular segments on the entire run of the show, so I thought it might be a good idea to bring Taylor back for this week's show. After all, it's Pride Month here in Nova Scotia, and we thought it would be helpful for Taylor, who is a Pride activist herself, to break down some of the terms connected to the LGBTQI community and give you a sense of what they all mean and what experiences different people under the Rainbow Coalition are having. So here's Taylor now with a little look at the alphabet of LGBTQI. Hey everyone, my name is Taylor Linloff, and welcome to the ABCs of P-R-I-D-E, Pride. Let's start at the beginning, of course, with L-G-B-T-Q-I. The first letter, L, stands for lesbian, which is a woman who is attracted exclusively to other women. G stands for gay. Gay means a man who is exclusively attracted to other men. But wait. It also means an umbrella term for the LGBTQ community, which is why you often hear the term gay rights or gay pride. B is for bisexual. Someone who is bisexual is attracted to two or more genders. T is for transgender, which means identifying as a gender different to the one you were given at birth. Someone may be a trans woman, which means they were raised as a boy but are truly a girl. A trans man, which means raised as a girl but truly a boy, or even something non-binary, which means you may not fit in with boy or girl, and that's okay. I am non-binary. <laughs> Eyes for intersex. Intersex individuals may have sex characteristics of both male and female. They may identify as trans or anywhere under the rainbow umbrella, but they may not as well. It's up to the person, so make sure you ask to be respectful. Did you know that the Mi'kmaq community and other First Nations people have their own section of LGBTQ? It's known as 2S, which stands for Two-Spirit. Two-Spirit is a native-specific identity which encompasses different gender identities and sexual orientations. It is a closed tradition, which means that if you are like me and white, please do not use the term for yourself. C is for cisgender. It's actually not an LGBTQ identity, but it simply means that somebody is not transgender. There's a reason for the word, and it's because we want to normalize the fact that trans people are normal. So we want to find another way to say someone's not trans without saying a normal person. However, cisgender people can also be LGB, which is, again, lesbian, gay, or bisexual. <laughs> 